My name's Ken Walker, and I'm the Senior Curator of Entomology at Museum Victoria. Believe it or not, I've been here for 35 years. I began in 27th of April, 1981. I came to this wonderful collection, three million specimens, specimens from every continent, many, many countries, uh, butterflies, beetles, bugs. So I was like a kid in a lolly shop, really. I sometimes say that I work in a morgue. I'm surrounded by three million dead insects, and so I get to know their stories very well. When you begin to look at the research for individual specimens, that suddenly a whole world opens up for you. Being a taxonomist is being a detective. At the moment, there's over 300,000 species of insects in Australia. So first thing you've got to ask is, where did you catch it? Um, when did you catch it? Uh, was it on a particular plant? And all that information helps you to narrow down your identification. So gardeners want to know, is, it, is this bad for my garden? Is this going to cause problems in my garden? And 99% of them aren't going to cause problems. They're visiting flowers and they're just moving through gardens and that. This is one of my specialities, native Australian bees. It's what I work on. And I've chosen this group here to show you. These are the blue-banded bees. It's called Emigilla, or little teddy bear bees. Now, these are the bees that you need if you grow tomatoes in your backyard. You need them because the tomato plant needs a buzz pollinator. And you can actually hear them. When they fly in, they come in at a certain level of certain noise, but then when they buzz pollinate, it goes much higher, the higher frequency there. So these are one of our 1,700 native Australian bees. There's a bee that occurs up in Cape York Peninsula and it was named after me. Its name is Euryglossina quasihesma walkeri. And of course it's interesting, but so many gardeners are very good with scientific names. Uh, I'm amazed, particularly with their plants that they grow. Um, like they know the scientific names backwards uh, from the plants. They're not so good with the insect scientific names, but they're very keen to learn. So here I have some jars of termites. Now there are 330 species of termites in Australia of which only six are economically important. So if I say to you in this jar here that you have poorer termites adamsoni, it's a nuisance termite. Whereas if in this jar I say you have copter termites sinusiformis, that's going to cause you major economic problems in your house. The reason being this is a dry wood termite that attacks your house, whereas the poorer termites is a damp wood termite and only attacks rotting wood. So this is one of the things we do here. We let people know which are the good and which are the bad insects. Here's a very special specimen in the Museum Victoria's collection. It's a male and female hawk moth. This is one of my favourite specimens in the museum. Now, the amazing thing about this specimen is it's over 200 years old. The label data down here reads, taken in the West Caves on the Isle of Wight, 28th of August, 1796. Now have a look at the preservation of the specimen. It's over 200 years old, and yet it looks like it was collected yesterday. There are 550,000 species of beetle in the world. If the insects were to disappear tomorrow, human life would last about a week. If the humans were to disappear tomorrow, the animal life would just keep going on beautifully, and probably even better. There isn't a morning that I don't get up and I don't look forward to it. I mean, just look around you. I can travel the world by just going and opening up drawers on that. Uh, but I've also got three million stories to tell. I've only been here 35 years and everywhere you go, you're learning something new each day. That's really exciting.